Many people believe that we need to develop our farming technique like people do in Western country or in developed country. They need more big machines so they can grow in the big, big area. So to have a big machine, farmer can work easily and happily. They just sit in the air conditioned room and press the button. They use computer to control everything. That's what many people dream about the future of farming. And in the same time, we think, people think about we need to have high technology to developing seed. We need to use chemical, use hormone to increase the yield of, from farming so we can have enough food to feed the increasing population of the world. But after we talk with many farmers in U.S., in many countries, in developed countries, we found that most of farmers cannot survive by themselves. They cannot survive without subsidies from the government. Most of farmers, they have to borrow a lot of money from the bank. They have to be in debt a lot. And in the same time, most of farmers, they need to sell their land when they retire. They have not enough money to make a living. And many of them, even they sell their land, they don't make enough money to cover their debt. High technology of farming and high technology in develop, developing seed and use more chemical, it lead to big debt for farmer and make the soil deplete, the water contaminate, the plant start to extinct. Compared to Thai farmer, this is Yai Nom. Yai Nom is 63 years old. She has nothing. She has only a hole and a space to do farming. She can grow enough food in a small area, only half an acre. She can produce enough to feed her family with 16 grandkids, grandchildren, and she have enough food for them, and she have enough income to take care of all of them. And this is Yai Noi. Yai Noi is 73 years old ladies who do farming in the same area with Yai Nom. She has no tools. She used bamboo stick to dig, but she can produce quite a lot of vegetable. She can take care of her family and she still has surplus to share with friends and people around and she has surplus to sell in the market too. She can sell more than 300 kilograms of her produce from her garden every month. That's quite big income for her to take care of her family. When people said that if you don't use high technology, if you don't use chemical, don't use high tech seed, you cannot feed the population of the world. I always thinking about these two ladies because I came to visit them many times in the past until now. I saw that they are so different from the information that we got from the media, from uh, the mainstream. So when you think about one American farmer that I used to talk with them, he said he has 5,000 acres and he borrowed almost a million dollars per year and he used more than 10,000 liters of diesel oil every year and he said he can feed more than 127 people per year but at the end he has a lot of debt and in the same time his soil start to deplete he need to increase the investment every year to increase the fertilizer every year and in the same time the weed killer the pest pesticides increase too and the price also increase so that make it harder and harder 
for them to survive. But compared to these old ladies, they are old farmer who has less than half an acre. Each ladies have less than half an acre to do a small garden, but they grow everything that they need in their life. So they save a lot of money from buying food. And in the same time, they did not invest much money. They maybe invest less than $50 per year. And then they invest a lot of their labor. And they have enough food to feed their family, have enough surplus to share with friends and people nearby, and even surplus to sell. They make income every month. In the same time, the soil start to be better and better every year. They start to use less and less compost after that. They have no problem with pest or disease because when the soil fertile, the environmental system balance, everything control is by itself. And then they grow many things mixed together that make the bugs and pests confused. And when everything's balanced, everything controlled by themselves, they have less problem with bugs here. So everything growing well, they never use any single drop of chemical in this area for many, many years. The soil start to be better and better every year. The most incredible thing is the taste of their vegetable. I love to eat vegetable, but normally when we buy vegetable from the market, it's so bland, so tasteless. But the vegetable here, so good. Everything is sweet and tastes strong, tastes good. Especially daigon or cabbages. Tastes so sweet. If we did not cook by ourselves, we don't believe that they did not add any sugar, but it tastes good. Without chemical, it does mean there's no pests, no bugs at all. Some of them, they have a lot of locusts eating corn like this. They just let them eat. But when the nature can control itself, the corn still look good like this. It's so beautiful. When some people said that you cannot feed the population of the world without uh, chemical, without high technology in farming, I always think about this place because they have been producing food they have been farming in their garden like this for many many years and then they never used any chemical no high technology there's nothing here they use only solar panel to pump the water that's only one simple technology that they have here but they can feed so many people in the country because their produce will be sold online a lot. Many people taste it and then they love it. They keep buying from them all the time. The question is, why don't we produce our food in this way? Because you invest less money, you just use a little bit more labor, but you can produce a lot of good food and high quality of food too and in the same time you got the good food and you develop the soil to make the soil very healthy the soil will be a good home for all kind of microorganism or kind of bugs that will produce good food for us so we can enjoy our good food with very low cost like this we happy to enjoy it. I love vegetable. Every time when I come here, I eat a lot until I cannot get up easily because it's so tasty, so joy to be able to eat good food. I want people to have a chance to eat good food like this. That's why I feel like we need to come back to develop farming in this way so we can have plenty of good food to feed population in the world. 
if we develop farming in this way, it will be very cheap. We will have a lot of good food to feed more than three times our population that we have in the world now.